In this video, I'll demonstrate Docket Alarm's Analytics Workbench, which enables legal professionals to see a high-level view of litigation activity. As an example, I can explore the likelihood of winning a preliminary injunction in the Southern District of New York. Or I can find out how long it takes to go to trial in Connecticut State Court. I can even look at Walmart's legal counsel over time. The Analytics Workbench is completely customizable allowing you to zero in on whatever litigation features you want to measure. From my dashboard, I can access the Analytics Workbench under Analytics in the side panel. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Analytics Workbench, you'll see examples of public analytics that we at Docket Alarm, as well as other users, have created and shared publicly. I'm now going to show how to create a new Analytics Workbench. I'll click New, and I'll assign a workbench name of State of Illinois, Circuit Court of Cook County, Chancery Division, Summary Judgment Analytics. The description field is for listing an exact description of what I'm looking for. The pop-up has some hints about writing a good description, including breaking up the information into four distinct and separate paragraphs, and using asterisk wraps or double asterisk wraps for italics or bold text. I'll start with this paragraph to state my purpose. To take a look at the time from filing to summary judgment, including both grants and denials for Cook County Chancery Division. For methodology, I'm describing the conditions and dates I'm looking for, and for how to, I'm describing what the analytics will show. At the end, I'll include limitations that the analytics are for seeing trends only, not calculating overall numbers. Step two is creating my library. The library is the entire set of dockets that I want to analyze. I can use the fields provided or switch to advanced mode in order to open the query field and use terms and connectors to capture the dockets I'm looking for. Here I'm looking for dockets with summary within five words of judgment in either spelling and within three words of either allowed or denied. Dockets also have to contain Cook County and Chancery Division and be from 2014. This query produces a library of 19,000 168 dockets. Now we'll move to step three, creating outcome tags. When I click Edit Outcome Tags in step 3a, I'm taken to one randomly selected docket from the over 19,000 dockets in the library. The tag editor is on the right. I'll click New Tab and name the tag Summary Judgment. The first tag outcome will be Granted, and its condition is applied based on the terms in the Contents field. So for this outcome, any time in a docket entry when summary appears within two of judgment, within three of allowed, the granted outcome will be applied. I'll click done. I'll add a new outcome for denied, which works the same way. If summary is within two of judgment, within three of denied, the outcome will be denied. I'll click done again. Now that my tags and outcomes are set up, I'll click test outcome tags, which tests them on the current docket. All looks correct, so I'll click Save Outcome Tags. You may see that your tag wasn't applied at all, which is still helpful because you'll know that the docket doesn't have any entries that match the conditions. The test should be run on five more dockets, so I'll click the forward arrow to bring in another randomly selected docket from the library, test again, and save. I'll repeat these steps until all five tests are complete. Now I'll click the back arrow at the top of the tag editor to return to the Analytics Workbench dashboard. Step 3b is where I can test the outcome tags and conditions I just set up by applying them to 40 randomly selected dockets from the library. This generates a spreadsheet of results which I can use to make sure the tags were applied correctly. Each row has an Edit Tag link that I can use to return to the tag editor and tweak my tags. Once I'm satisfied that my tags are correct, I can run the analytics. Once complete, I'll click Visualize Results, then Overview. The results are presented in the same format as the PTAB analytics that were demonstrated in a separate video. Follow the link in the description below to view the PTAB analytics video. If any questions arise while you're working with Docket Alarm, we're available by chat, or you can reach us by phone or by email at questions at docketalarm.com.